prepubescent boys. So if we talking about pedophilia, why in the fuck is a black man going to jail? You have a fucking whole plethora of white men to choose from. You pick the one goddamn black dude? is the number one cause of death amongst young black men. Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society? Today we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by Ayo Conseco. I'm suicidal, I'ma smoke myself on that track I'm on. Snoop, I got problems, I've been losing pounds and now I'm in my zone. I'm back supplying, I got the shoulder strap on that strap I own. Call me GI Noon Bullets, Caillou Ball Head, if I describe you. Y'all dead, rest in peace, Michael. Bet you spin when they kick. Something like Ryu, never no explanations, tweeting shit. We sleep right by you, friend that by you. Better know how to swim. I'm scuba diving, ex Katrina and the government. None unconscious. Hey, look. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I'm Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men Too Movement. Uh, and this is, well, well, um, are you serious? Um, y'all already know. Um, R. Kelly just turned himself in. Dog, what I'm, <laughs> what am I noticing? I'm noticing that, dog. I think I'm going to put this up on a rap trap. Like, all of, out of all of the fucking niggas, all, when I say niggas, I mean men, out of all the fucking men that got caught up in the, the Me Too wave, it seems like the white men only lost, you know, some credibility or some shit like that. Tarnish their name. But for the black men, they go to jail. Dog, I, I don't, listen to me, dog. This, this ain't the channel for that politically correct. I don't give a fuck, dog. What do we want? Equality. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Help. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Equality. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Help. When do we want it? Now. I'm not a picket sign type nigga, but come August, it's going down, dog. Um, if you want to be part of the Men Too Movement and the Men Too Movement group that goes to D.C. in August, you have to be part of the Men Too movement, meaning that you sign the Men Too petition on change.org, that you have your Men Too shirt, and you've been personally vetted by me. Nobody will know the time that we're going to meet up and all that shit like that. I'm going to say all that shit behind the scenes, so you have to come through me. If you're trying to get in touch with me, there's been a lot of bullshit going around there, a lot of A.O. Conseco accounts on Facebook. Um, so this is the A.O. Conseco account that you're supposed to go to. This is the thumbnail. This is the Tobin Frost account, and this is the Instagram account. So there's no more, you know what I'm saying? Uh, fuck up, no more mix up. Um, to get your men two shirts, you go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10. Uh, the men two shirts are $20. Every other shirt is 15. All headwear is 10. This shirt is not available yet. It won't be available till the end of March and only AO Nation members will be able to purchase it, meaning that you already purchased, you know what I'm saying, your whatever shirt, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta, we look at your PayPal, if you ain't bought nothing yet, you can't get the shirt. I don't want everybody to have my face on them. Um, of course, you know, for all the new folks, 
The PayPal that you buy your merchandise from is not the PayPal that you donate to. That PayPal is on the screen at least three times an episode. It's paypal.me forward slash Aaron337. This is the PayPal that you donate to if you want your um, PayPal note read during uh, the AO Nation donation conversation that we have every third Sunday. Um, you can also donate to the Cash App and the Venmo. All that shit's in the description box. Listen, for all of you new business people and shit like that, do not send nothing to my inbox. Like, you a rapper, you a clothing line, don't tag me. Dog, don't say my name unless you're ready to do business. I'm extremely fucking busy. If you got a story over here and all that shit like that, but don't bring me to your brand if you're not ready to do business. I'm too busy, dog. Period, point blank. No disrespect, but this is how this shit go on this end. Prices start at $200. They go up to $2,000. All good. Also, listen, this is not my only channel. The Big Space Podcast is the first channel. The Rap Trap is the second channel. And Stupid Rappers is the third channel. All those channels got different fucking content. The videos that go on one channel don't go on the other one, usually. All of them had their own fucking content. So if you're not subscribed, please learn how to work YouTube and subscribe and hit the notification bell on all channels. Get your shit together, big homie. What do we want? I don't give a fuck if you want to take this shit and standing up for R. Kelly, my nigga, do that. Don't give a motherfuck. What this shit is starting to look like to me, dog. As these bitches are going on press conference after press conference after motherfucking video trying to destroy R. Kelly. But when you look on the other side, ain't nobody going out after Harvey Weinstein, Kevin Spacey, uh, C.K. Lewis, and, the, and the, the rest of the long list of these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers don't lose them but a little bit of uh, 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 credibility. How many times are we, as black men, going to get punished for something we did years ago? Uh, O.J. Simpson, you didn't get him on a Nicole case, so now you come back on a, uh, on a theft case and bam him. Uh, Bill Cosby, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you couldn't get him in a, in, uh, with that shit, so when he tried to get NBC, you bam him on the back end. You tried to get Steve Harvey, you tried to get uh, Morgan Freeman... The list goes on of niggas you tried to get. Suge Knight. Now R. Kelly. Does, del the, like, does double jeopardy mean nothing? So, listen. I'm not finna go into that shit, man. Dog, I'm telling you, black hoes. It's starting to look like you are nothing more than the right hand of white supremacy. These motherfuckers aren't coming to get us. It's y'all. Y'all bamming us. We not the evil ones. When you go on, when you look at to catch a predator or if it, it, like I found out that there are so many other uh, independent versions of to catch a predator on the internet. If you look it up, you got creep catchers, you got P.O.P., Langley creep catchers and shit like that. It's a lot of motherfuckers. These white boys go out there and find older white men because only white people do that pedophile type shit, my nigga. Only white people do that pedophile type shit, my nigga. You ain't never seen no nigga on the catch a predator. We ain't talking about R. Kelly right now, dog. We talking about everybody else that you can be going after. Now he facing 70 years. I ain't never heard of nobody on to catch a predator or anywhere else getting 70 years. Fuck what's going on. Let's talk about the racial shit. Now let's talk about the race. Let's talk about race. And you bitches sitting here bamming us like this, man. Who in the fuck do we got to turn to? Everybody's after the black man. Everybody. We don't got no friends. A bitch leave her kids in the house for, for days and days. 
If she do get arrested, she go to a fucking mental hospital. Motherfucker, kill her kids. She go to a mental hospital. Fuck what's going on. Let's talk about what's going on. Nigga can't even get custody of his kids. Uh, nigga, nigga, a nigga trying to get custody of his children. The courts won't do it. He's telling, hey, she's not a good mother, all that shit. The next time he sees his fucking children, they're in a fucking box. And nothing happens. You listen to these motherfucking accounts? You listen to these accounts from these old hoes who were young hoes who had the time of their life while dealing with R. Kelly. What's to say they didn't have um, a fake ID or this and that and this and that? What we do know is that they were willing participants in this whole thing. He didn't have to go search for them and no shit like that, like these motherfuckers on the Catch a Predator. They come to, to him. He got a sign that says, you got to be 18. You got to be 18. I'm not going out here snatching nobody. Most of the time, the parents goddamn come in open-handed. But now that you become old and decrepit, because all of you hoes had the same mind state. If I do this for him, maybe he'll pick me out of the bunch. But when he doesn't pick you, now, um, he, what, what happened when he came in the room? He uh, came in with a white t-shirt and blue jeans. They were on a walkie-talkie. They told us to pull our dresses up. Um, uh, and, and so we did what we were told. Hold the fuck on, man. What? Dog, you're saying it as if you... You you were doing it against your will. No. You come backstage because you wanted to fuck. The sign says you have to be 18. So why the fuck would he not think everybody back, back here is motherfucking 18 and older? You snuck back here. The reason why I say 18 and older because, when bitch, when you come backstage, it's going to be some grown folk shit going on. And you know that. And this is why I'm speaking to you niggas, man. Yes. In the moment, that hoe is going to be with it. She's going to be, it's, it's going to be, it's all good. But just as soon as Father Time touch this bitch, she's going to be right up there trying to bury you. Because there's nothing in her life that's positive. So she's become a negative being. So nothing that comes out of her will be anything. It won't be a positive situation. It's going to be negative. And she, the only thing that makes her miserable situation a little less miserable is to have company. So I'll be fine with being in the depths of hell just as long as there's, as, as there's people here that's doing worse than me. You better listen to what the fuck I'm telling you, dog. It's all fun and games right now. Fuck a hoe. Go to the house. Fuck a hoe. It's all love. You're not focusing on what she truly is feeling and what she truly wants. She wants to be with you forever and ever. No matter whether she stop brushing her teeth, um, show you how bald head she really is when she take that weave off, show you how ugly she really is when she take that makeup off and all that shit like that, my nigga, you dealing with a monster. Because just as soon as you realize who this hoe is and you try to get out the door, you're going to be sending me videos about how this bitch trying to destroy your life. And I'm going to tell you the same thing I'm telling folks now. Hey, man, I got to make a Facebook page because it's too much. I can't even get to my business goddamn messages because it's, it's so many motherfuckers talking about how fucked up this shit is. I'm trying to get custody of my kids. Hey, man, I, I got a, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I got a um, rape first case. Uh, this bitch lying on me. Hey, man, this motherfucker trying to goddamn. I'm overwhelmed. I'm having to get volunteers to, you know what I'm saying, to, to uh, filter out some of these motherfucking. So many niggas are getting dead. Like, it, it's so fucked up. 
But you out this bitch thinking it's all good. It can't happen to you. Believe me, my nigga. And that's why I'm starting the Men 2 YouTube channel and the Men 2 Facebook page. So that you can actually hear who and see who these niggas were, what happened, and what happened afterwards. As I said in the beginning, I, I don't, my nigga, if, if, if how you want to run with it, our nigga defending the pedophile and all that good shit, my nigga, run with it. Run with it. But at the end of the fucking day, what you can't deny is that it's only one type of person being motherfucking punished in a legal fashion in this whole situation. Kind of making me think that Me Too was built to shout at the white dudes that's doing it, but to do exactly what it seems the government wants, jail the black man. Talk about the white man, but jail the black man. As I'm listening to you nothing ass bitches, you nabs, understand that's, that's new uh, AO Nation lingo for nothing ass bitch, nab. I'm listening to you nabs make videos celebrating another black man's demise. Any one of you niggas that dates a nab that has publicly championed the demise of a black man when there are white men that need that same type of motherfucking vigor and, and fer ferocity? You need to be chasing them niggas down with the same fucking ferocity? It's not happening. What the fuck does that tell you? I deitized the white man, but demonized the black man. How in the fuck can you date her? When you see there are white men, a whole slew of them. We talking about pedophilia. That's their field. That's their field. That's the white man. I, I have a lot of, I, I, listen to me. I have a lot of white fans and I know this. Shout out to my nigga Trent. Um, can't remember my other man's name. In our being, the phenotype that is attractive to the black man, wide hip, hips, big titties, you know what I'm saying? A grown woman, looks like a grown woman, and we do that because... Wide hips means, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, you can you can have my child safely. Childbearing hips. Big titties, you know what I'm saying, you, you can feed my child. You know what I'm saying, very well. That's, that's what we see. But for the average white man, the phenotype, they, if you look at what they like, what they consider models, we don't like the models they like. We look at the models they consider models. Girls that have the phenotype like Prepubescent boys. Shout out to my nigga. Prepubescent boys. Meaning flat chest, no ass. That's what the fuck. Look at it. Look at what they consider models. You know, you got the, oh, look, she got the big jugs and shit like that. But look at what they fucking consider models. That's their phenotype. Prepubescent boys. So if we talking about pedophilia, why in the fuck is a black man going to jail? You have a fucking whole plethora of white men to choose from. You picked the one goddamn black dude? And you champion this shit? So that was your only goal then. To destroy a successful black man. How is that motherfucking mantra, that motto, that creed any different from the fucking white supremacists? Is that not exactly what they want? To destroy any successful black man? What the fuck? 
any black woman that champions R. Kelly going to jail and you don't see on their timeline them going after all the pedophiles they see that you can publicly see that it's not a secret let me stop because I'm finna I'm finna go I'm finna go somewhere let me stop but I'm gonna say this if you don't see her always going after pedophiles and the only pedophile that she sees is the one that the white supremacist served up on a platter so that's what you call selective outrage, correct? We only get mad at what they tell us to get mad at. Why would you date her? If she can be turned on and turned off, just like that. Big Facts Podcast and the Rap Trap. Hit the PayPal. I'll see y'all in a minute. I'll see y'all in August. We on the way.